Continuing to field questions here for us, Samili. I have a student from within the Telegram group who says, I failed my NBME assessment. What do I do? Do I focus on my weak areas? Any advice? Thanks. Yes, I have very good advice. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, uh, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now, addressing the student's question here about failing the NBME assessment, what do I do? Do I focus on weak areas? Any advice? And I said, yes, I have very good advice. Nobody fails an NBME assessment unless his or her understanding of endocrine sucks jack fucking shit. And I've talked about this before. Now, look, of course, everyone is going to have unique slash custom strengths and weaknesses, okay? Maybe you really suck at neuro or heme onc, et cetera. Maybe your bio stats, you're getting all the math questions wrong. So it goes without saying that, sure, if you are able to identify a certain area that requires remediation, yes, review that area. And I've, I have many free high-yield PDFs on my website that are subject-specific, as well as mixed ones, that you'll be able to look at to uh, beef your scores up. Now, why am I pointing down right now? It's because I'm going to link high-yield arrows PDF in the description below. And it's because this PDF will allow people who are not passing to pass, as well as people who are borderline to more comfortably pass. High yield arrows, this PDF will boost you in the endocrine you need to know. If you're not passing the USMLE, it's because you don't have an understanding of how basic hormones work, basic diagnoses, okay? You have to know the difference between SIADH and diabetes insipidus. You have to know the difference between Addison disease and Kahn syndrome, okay? You have to have an understanding of, you know, high versus low parathyroid hormone, okay? Primary versus secondary. And I know for some of you watching this clip, you're probably like, fuck, I'm not 100% sure about certain things. Well, that's my point. That's why I made high yield arrows. And that's how your scores are going to go up, okay? So I want you to go through high yield arrows and... Of course, you're going to be, uh, that's what I want you to do first, okay? Then we can get you back onto NBMEs 20 through 24. Normally, I have extended Skype sessions with students discussing your study history, your timeline, coming up with a, developing a very tailor-made approach so you can get the biggest score on your exam. Uh, but that's my general advice for the moment. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.